guys, this is Jay Panda here, and welcome back to another episode of Twilight Princess HD. As you can tell, there is something I forgot to do, as usual. Um, so we are going to do that now. There's actually two things we forgot to do. One little thing and one big thing. Right now we are going to get the little thing that I forgot about, and... Honestly, the big thing that I forgot about was something I didn't even know was in the game until just today. So that's kind of exciting, I guess. I don't know the right word for that, but anyway, if we go up here, there, there was a ladder in the room where we got the dungeon map, and I just forgot about it for some reason. I don't know why. But I did, and we can go up here on this balcony in the courtyard, and there's a chest. And inside that chest is another stamp. Something we don't really need, but it's there. And um, we actually do not want to go back down that way. We want to go back over here where we came up, because that is where the next thing we're going to get is yay and real quick i want you all to look at the map on the first floor there is a room that we did not go to yet that has a bunch of chests and that i didn't even know where that was i thought it was something that came up later um in the dungeon for some reason but if you look right here and this is kind of obscure too if you look right here there is a patch of leaves so we transform into a wolf turn our senses on and there's a dig spot so it was right here and guess where where we are at guys we are in the graveyard of Hyrule Castle. This is the royal family's graveyard. Um, and it's very, very spooky. I like it. I really like it. Look at this. There's this mysterious blue fog here, and it's just so creepy. And we have skeleton dudes. So remember, guys, just take out your ball and chain. And, yeah, he managed to get a hit in. I did that not fast enough. Um, this one I'm not even going to bother with. Really, you can just take these guys easily out with your sword. And we have a Stalfos here. So, we're definitely going to be using our ball and chain on him if you look over here there are two statues inside of a door we can't get in and if you try to light these lanterns and yes we have plenty of lantern oil it won't work because it's raining and the water puts the fire out duh i mean like who didn't know that right but if we go over here, there are a couple more Stalfos, so we're going to get rid of them before. Um, and look, two in one hit and we get hearts. Before we read these gravestones, so let's look at them. The Cursed Swordsman sleeps before the Sacred Tree. Hmm, what could that mean? In the land where the rain stops, the statue of time moves. So that means somehow, some way, we need to stop this rain, right? And to do that, there is another Stalfos, apparently. So I'll go ahead and take you out. And here is a room with some chests in it that we can't get to yet. 
Now, if we go over here, though, we will see a tree with a very suspicious mound underneath it. So, if we turn our senses on, there are these creepy... Um, can I zoom up? Oh, gosh. Look at him. He's just pointing at the, at the tree or at the grave. I don't know what he's doing. But look at him. He is creepy. All of these guys are creepy. They're just standing here watching the grave where the cursed swordsman, who is presumed to be um, Link from Ocarina of Time, because he was the guy who helped us learn all those hidden skills, and I think we talked about that already. And yeah, they're just watching his grave. It's kind of sad, really. But anyway... There's only one thing we can do about this, and that is to desecrate the grave. I'm sorry. I felt very bad when I did this the first time. Like, I, I, I did this during my practice playthrough, and I don't know. I felt funny about it, and also... I was like, wait a minute, do I really have to desecrate this grave in order to um, unlock something? And the answer is yes. And I don't know. <laughs> um, oh yeah, we need to equip our lantern and I want to open these chests, please before I do anything else. And we get a green ruby, so see, we're still getting plenty of rubies. Honestly, we're gonna get a lot more rubies later, so. Uh, and we got a red ruby. Here's a place to fill up your lantern if you need to. I don't need to right now, and I'm going to see what's in this chest. It's an orange ruby, so awesome. So we have plenty of rupees in case we need it. The magic armor. But what we need to do is light this lantern and magically the rain stops. Just briefly though. So it will start back up in a little bit, which means you have to roll over here really quickly. Or it'll just start back up again and you'll have to come back. And it's kind of annoying, you know. So we'll put that away and if we check this, the door opens where Specter, Specter's gaze. So that's something that tells us where, um, you know, we put these um, statues, but I kind of already know where it is. I mean, I do already know where it is, and I kind of already did, you know, when I first did this. So, obviously, you put the statues right over here, and come on, get, did I, yeah, okay. And, um, if you transform into a wolf again, look! There's three more of these guys, and they're just pointing, like, right over here. So, there's obviously something up there, and um, we're going to get it as soon as we get the other statue over here. So, this place is really creepy. I love it, though. I had no idea that there was, that this graveyard was even here. I don't think I... Um, found it when I played the Wii version, which was forever ago. It was like several years ago when I played the Wii version. I only played the Wii version once. But I have to say I like the, the Wii U version better just because the controls are easier and I like the graphics better and all that. But, um, yeah. So, if we come up here, we can open this door, and there's something in here that we can get. Let's see what it is. And we got a small key, which is very interesting. You've gotten everything you need out here. Now get in the castle through the front door. 
So Minda's still bossing us around as usual. But anyway, um, there we go. And we're going to, well, I thought we were going to, oh my gosh, you're like right over the, the, the hole. I mean, the dig spot. But anyway, um, yeah, let's go ahead and, you know what, I, I think I'll just meet you back at the point where we ended in, oh uh, crap, not good, in the, in the last episode, so I will see you guys in a little bit. Alright guys, I am back up here, which is where we ended, um, off last time, I think there's two ways we can go here. I think that all of the good stuff is this way, I, be I do believe. And plus, there's a lot harder... Um, there's a lot of harder enemies and obstacles that we have to fight this way. So I'll just go ahead and get it out of the way. Well, actually, I thought there was. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know. But either way, we are going to go both ways, so um, it doesn't really matter, I guess. So if you look up here, there are beautiful paintings of Hyrule Castle in the day and in the sunset and um, when it's kind of foggy and yeah. Tons of paintings. I believe this is the one that we want to shoot down. So yeah, you can knock these off the wall. And use our claw shot and get the switches. And that is the switch that opens the door. Do not, um, do not activate any of the other switches because they just send yellow chews down. I mean, unless you need lantern oil for whatever reason which you don't need it you know you really don't need it and I think one of them might have sent down some red chews I don't know I can't remember there are dark nuts in here um what we want to do is activate one of the dark nuts just activate one so, and then lure him over here to the other side of the room. That's what you want to do. That way you, it's a lot easier fighting um, one at a time and I jumped the wrong way. But there's really not much space here and I guess I, gosh. I can't even see him because of the stupid see we don't have much space to attack him oh gosh I am a lot better at fighting these guys I'm sorry guys but I am there we go we're starting to we're starting to get them I just didn't want to activate the other um, dark knight, you know? I jumped to the... Oh my gosh. I was trying to jump to the side, but apparently that didn't work. Come on. Come over this way. There we go. And then all you have to do is spin around them and... There we go. I got you out of the way, buddy. Fair and square. And we get some more arrows. Now let's go fight the other one. We have plenty of room now, so... It should be a lot easier to do this. Come 
Come on, attack, buddy. There. Wasn't expecting to get an opening there. Um, why are you hitting his shield? For goodness sakes. <sighs> Any day now, I'm going to defeat him. And awesome. There we go. Things are, s well, kind of going my way, and he is dead. We just got rid of both Dark Knights. So yeah, this way is a little harder than the other way, and really, you, I don't even think you need to go the other way if you don't want to, but um, there are two doors here. <laughs> I'm going to go in this door, and there is a chest here, so I'm going to go ahead and get it. This is the main hub room. I, I don't know why, it just feels like the hub of Hyrule Castle to me. There's a switch, and that makes a chest appear, so that's something we can get later, I believe. I don't think that I want to get it now because I don't think I'll be able to come back up here. So we will get it later and we can go through the other door which leads to outside. So if we go this way we will see that the boss key's chest is there. And we have more Baldwin archers. loved that cutscene. Um, honestly, I love it so much because of the fact that that shows that we have alliances that are on our side and it's not just us alone fighting Ganon. And that's kind of cool because in most of these games, well, okay, actually not I mean, you do have a lot of companions, like in this game we have Minna, she's fighting with us, but you know, she's not really fighting though, I don't know. I mean, she does have a role to play sometimes, but I don't know, a lot of times it just feels like Link is the one who's fighting alone, and... There's nobody who can help them. The guards are all useless, but this time we have some pretty cool alliances. And if we look over here, there is a locked door. We can use that key that we got earlier in the graveyard, but that would be kind of stupid. I'm sorry, but it would be stupid, you know, because then we couldn't use it for something that we could get later. And honestly, this part is super annoying. I absolutely hate fighting the sky. I really do. I mean, he just... Everything about him is super annoying. And you know what the dumb part is? Um, 
shoot. Well, that's one dumb part that he's back in the air again. But the dumb part about this is that our alliances, I mean, our allies, that's a word that makes more sense here. They don't even help us. Like, come on. There we go. They don't even help us with this guy. I mean, they help us with those Bogo blends and those Lizalfos, but those are easy to fight. I mean, this guy's a bit more annoying, in my opinion. And I would have liked it if the allies would have helped us with him instead of with those other ones. But I guess it wouldn't be as cinematic, you know? The way they took out those Bogo blends and um, or Boblin archers and was Alphos. That was a bit more cinematic, I guess. But anyway, we got the other key. We can't go in that door yet. So, um, I really do want to go in that door. First, though, hold on, where is this guy? Oh, it goes to the third floor. So, yeah, we will be back here in a minute because I do want to show you all what's on the other side. And did I get everything? I think I did. But, um, yeah. So, oh, I need to go this way. What am I doing anyway? Well, where's the door? Gosh, I'm, I'm not even paying attention, guys. <laughs> Sorry. It's just been one of those days, you know, where I'm just kind of out of it. Um, wait a minute. I did not go in the right door. Wow. Maybe this door? Yes, we want to go in this door because... We can now get that other chest that is there, and I really do want to get that. And, um, all we have to do here is fall shot these, um, chandeliers, you know, like we did earlier. And we get... A silver rupee. The silver rupees are always so pretty. And the gold rupees. Ooh, they're, they're so pretty too. So, um, anyway, I can't even remember where we need to go now. Oh, yeah, I know. We're going to have to go all the way back. So, I'll see you guys in a few minutes because this is going to take... A little bit of time probably and I don't want to make the video long too long okay guys I'm back over here that was pretty quick um we're going to go in this door now I'll go ahead and show you what's over here there's really nothing that we need and I really don't see any purpose I don't know why they put two different um, ways here, but anyway, if we, for some reason, this music reminds me of the Hogwarts movie. I, Hogwarts? Harry Potter! Why did I say the Hogwarts movie? I don't know why it reminds me of Hedwig's theme. That That's completely off topic, but okay. Um, so, guys, here's another clue. This place is full of clues, as you can tell. Wait a minute. Yes. So, it shows us which way we need to, um, light up these lanterns. Yeah, torches? Lan yeah, torches, not lanterns. We need to do it in a zigzag pattern, I, I believe. And did I do it wrong? I think I might have. Yeah. I think that's why all these keys are attacking me for no reason. Oh. And give me that heart. I need that heart. Hey, 
way! Seriously, those keys were... Oh my gosh. Okay, so we need to light... Look! One, two, and then three, four... Oh, okay, now I understand. So we light this one, and this one, then this one, this one, and this one. And it should work. Well, it should! I, I don't get it. What am I doing wrong? I just lit the lanterns. What the heck? Um, guys? Is there something here that I don't know about? Like, seriously? I'm getting mad now. Maybe I need to start here. If this takes too long, I'm going to skip a bunch of it because it's ridiculous. What the frick? I'll see you guys when I have all these lanterns lit, okay? Okay, I don't even understand. Um, okay. I don't even know how that works, okay, guys? Um, but it did, and somehow we got all the torches lit. I don't even know what order you have to do them in, because I don't know which one you start at. Maybe the... Okay, maybe the one with the flame on it is the last one you're supposed to do, and I did it wrong? I don't know. Because that just doesn't make sense to me, but okay, we, we, what matters is that we got the door open, okay? That's really all that matters, and we have Donnell foes to fight, which isn't really a surprise to me. I guess we can't open that door until, until we, um, defeat them. And there we go. All we gotta do is do the helm splitter and... There. And now we can go through both of the doors. If you go through this... wait a minute. This door which leads back out to the main hub room. Then you will see that there is a switch here. And what that does is bring the chandelier down. So if you need a shortcut to get back up here and you don't want to go all the way through um, that one door where you have to blow the torch out, then all you can do now is use that chandelier to get back up here. So that's kind of neat. Um, this door just leads us right back outside. So um, here we are. And you know what? I think I will end this episode here. And in the next episode, I'm hoping to complete most of Hyrule Castle. And wait a minute. Is that... What is that? Is that the bridge of Hylia over there? Or the the Elden? Well, it can't be the Elden bridge, I don't think. I don't know. That's kind of... Oh, it's not. I think it's just the entrance to get in here. Never mind. I thought we were seeing a lot of stuff in the backgrounds. But apparently not. And anyway, guys, I will see you guys next time where we will complete most of Hyrule Castle. See you later.